Good afternoon everybody, Talking Tommy coming at you from a very cold and wintry Halifax, West Yorkshire, hence the hat, and I also have the fire roaring in here, because it is exceptionally cold, it makes me very thankful to have a beard right now. <laughs> and today's video is the 6th edition to my UK over the counter blend review series and today's blend is Benson and Hedges Mellow Virginia so I'll just show you the packaging there minus the patronising safety warning um, it is another old classic British proprietary blend or supermarket blend, drugstore blend, whatever you want to call them I'll show you the cut here, uh, if I can. So it's coarse cut. It says ready rubbed on the pouch, but it's not ribbon cut. It's sort of like broken flakes, as you can see there. Rather coarse, rather chunky, which um, I was very surprised at actually. I thought it was going to be shag cut, like Route 66. But um, no, it's coarse cut which I like, I like that in a blend I like it when it's uh, nice and chunky because then you can rub it out a bit more if you want to or you can leave it nice and thick um, for when you're packing and for when you're smoking it can make a difference um, and I have pre-packed my uh, Gigi or what was it something that said? Studio X4 freehand and I've packed it full to the brim with this blend um, the pouch note upon opening it is hmm, it's a kind of it's caramelly, almost toffee like um, I don't believe there's any cur uh, casings in this blend but it's very uh, much like like toffee or caramel biscuits it's very much like biscuits is that um, smells very nice, I must say, in the pouch. Quite an interesting aroma. And to see if there's no sort of casings or toppings on it, um, I'm presuming that's just the composition of the tobaccos, uh, which are Virginia, obviously, because it's called Mellow Virginia, um, with some Kentucky and Burley in there. But I think it's mainly bright Virginias that are in this blend. So. Without further ado, let's get this bowl lit. So it lights rather well, so it's not too moist in the pouch, but it's not too dry either. So it lights exceptionally well, straight onto the true light now with absolutely no faffing around needed it's got a very smooth flavour very smooth smoke to it indeed um, it's very um, very natural in flavour despite the pouch note and the rum and beard note giving that kind of caramelly flavour. It's not sickly sweet, isn't this blend? So it's quite nice for that. Um, when I first bought it and I opened the pouch and I had a whiff of it, I thought, oof, it's going to be a sweet one, is this? But it is sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not aromatic sweet, it's not sickly, it doesn't 
go gloopy. Pardon me a moment. Very dense amount of smoke comes off it. Um, quite satisfying though. It's got quite mild strength. Um, deceptively strong though, I think, because with it being mild, I find you can puff away on it, and before you know it, you're feeling a little bit woozy because you thought, oh, it's mild, I can just keep puffing and puffing and puffing, and before you know it, you're on your ass basically. But smoke slowly, sipped even, and appreciated properly. It's not a bad smoke at all. Um, I would say this, I was surprised more than anything when I first tried this because I've heard very unkind things about this blend and with it being UK over the counter I presumed it's going to be pretty bad but it's actually rather nice It doesn't burn too hot, and you notice I've had to do a couple of relights. That's probably more my packing technique than anything else, if I'm honest. Um, but I don't find it bitey, it's not a bitey blend. Um, it possibly would bite if you smoked it a little bit too fast, um, but as it stands normally, it's not too bad at all, really. It also comes in 25 gram pouches as well as 50. So if you're a little bit short on money and out of tobacco, then you can always buy a 25 gram pouch. Or if you just wanted to try it for the first time like I was and you weren't really wanting to buy 50 grams in case you didn't like it, you, there is the 25 gram option, which is good. And as it's readily available, um, you can't really complain too much about it, I don't think. Um, as a blend, I think it's um, it's a bit of a grower, really. I think it definitely grows on you the more you smoke it, the more you try it. You get quite a good amount of flavour from the retro ale, which is nice, not too strong. Again, it lives up to its name, it's mellow. Um, but because it's mellow, a lot of people, I think, would be mistaken to believe that it's bland. And I'll tell you now, it's not bland at all. It's very subtle, subtle flavourings of the Virginias. If you are an aficionado of Virginia tobaccos, which I personally am, I do like them very much, I would say you will appreciate this blend very much, excuse me. It's smooth, it's satisfying, it's very subtle in flavour. very pleasant it's a very very pleasant blend indeed um, 
if I had to sum it up in one word, I would say it's satisfying um, and surprising actually. It's a very surprising blend. I'm shocked at how much I actually quite like it. Um, I think if you are committed to your Virginia tobaccos and you wanted something moderately light that you could enjoy throughout the day, I would definitely say that this could make a fantastic all day blend for you. Very, very pleasant aroma indeed from the pouch and into the bowl and smoking it. Very pleasant aroma. Um, it's a non aromatic as well, so it is pretty much just pure tobaccos. But I don't know, there's, there's a little bit of something else in there as well. It's just, just something, I'm not sure what. It's. Um, it's got that classic sort of old man tobacco smell to it, you know. Like those old uh, sweet shops that used to sell tobacco. It's got that sort of tobacco -y sweet smell to it. It's very nice, it's very good. It's, it's actually shocking how nice this tobacco is. Um, I will say it's probably not for a novice, a novice probably wouldn't appreciate the subtleties of it. I would say it's probably best smoked by someone um, once they've got a bit more pipe smoking experience behind them. Um, I would say if this was one of the first blends you smoked you probably wouldn't enjoy it, you probably wouldn't at all, you'd probably find it a little bit bland but I think once your palate becomes accustomed to various tobacco flavours that kind of thing, you will appreciate the subtleties of this blend. I think it's a very good smoke, and I'm certainly going to consider having this in my regular rotation. Um, it's it's very very nice indeed. I need to find another word other than nice, really. <laughs> Use that word far too often. Yeah, it's very good. It's very pleasant. It's it's strange. It's really strange. It's um almost deceptive in how good it is because you would think it being an over counter blend, you'd think oh it's it's not going to be very good, or you'd think oh it's it's mellow. It's just going to be bland. It's not going to taste of anything. And th these misconceptions, I think. Uh, completely out of balance with what this blend is about it's really nice um, for rating I am going to give it a 4 out of 5 um, the only things I'm really um, marking it down for is I'm giving it half a point on the sort of uh, burn rate because it can take a few lights to get going as you've just seen um, and I'm not convinced it's entirely my packing method as such um, because I have been doing this for a while now so I'm pretty much uh, au fait on how to pack a pipe um, and the only other thing I'm sort of giving it half a point for is the body strength balance just because for me it could benefit with being a little bit stronger in terms of flavour, body and just overall nicotine strength I think it could benefit, if it was a little bit stronger it would be pretty much perfect I think um, but because they only half a point each on those I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 um, for the leaderboard but I would highly recommend it as it's a very very good blend um, 
surprisingly good actually is is what I'll say on that um, but yeah recommend it give it a go you know I mean obviously these are just my opinions but yes certainly give it a crack um, I also take this opportunity to thank everyone who's recently subscribed it's much appreciated feel free to join the subs contest it's not just for old subs um, it's for everyone who is subbed of course but yeah feel free to submit a competition entry um, feel free to like comment share bring everyone on board um, um, yeah thank you very much um, I, if there's anyone who has recently subscribed to me who I haven't subbed back um, it's just because I haven't got around to it yet I've had quite a busy uh, week or so um, I will get around to it at some point I'm just not very speedy at it <laughs> but yes thank you very much it's much appreciated um, have yourselves a good one everyone and thank you for watching cheers